Well, certainly an eyebrow raiser, this one. Uh, certainly not the approach I would be taking. But look, I do respect Steve Baker. I know many of you are big fans of his as well. Let me know what you make of this move, because of course, Steve Baker has become the new Northern Ireland minister. And at the uh, Tory conference, he's actually apologised to Ireland and the EU for behaving in a way, apparently, which did not always encourage them to trust to accept that they have a legitimate interest. Baker saying he's really sorry to Ireland and the EU for not always behaving in a way they would trust us during the Brexit negotiations. This is what uh, Baker had to say. Watch this and let me know what you make of it. But the thing I want to add is one of the people who uh, perhaps uh, acted with the most ferocious determination to get the UK out of the EU. I, I think we have to bring some humility to this situation. And it's with humility that I want to accept and acknowledge that I and others did not always behave in a way which encouraged Ireland and the European Union to, to trust us to accept that they have legitimate interests, legitimate interests that we're willing to respect, because they do and we are willing to respect them. And I'm sorry about that, because relations with Ireland are not where they should be, and we all need to work extremely hard to improve them, and I, I know that we are doing so. Actually, the demise of her late majesty gave us an opportunity to meet leading Irish figures, and I said to some of them, you know, I am sorry that we did not always respect your legitimate interests. And I hope they won't mind me saying I felt I could feel uh, the ice thawing a bit. So, yes, yeah, subsequently, uh, perhaps unsurprisingly, actually, Baker coming out and saying unionists and loyalists have not reacted well to my apology, but saying it was necessary, saying if I have to eat a bit of a humble pie to get that done in terms of a deal with the EU, then I'm happy to eat it. Now, I'm someone whose viewers will know, you know, I want to give the trust government a chance. I want to give them the benefit of the doubt. But let's just remember that it was back in March, way back in March, that Baker was then calling for the UK to trigger Article 16. Back then, he actually said, we must now save the Belfast Agreement and restore power sharing by doing what is necessary to bring Northern Ireland back into the UK single market. That means using the Article 16 safeguards immediately before the storm on elections. Now, subsequently, we saw reports that Trust could have triggered Article 16 within days of becoming PM. Clearly, that didn't happen. Now talk of another deadline, this time a six-month deadline. And let's not forget that ministers for a long, long time now were actually telling Boris Johnson to go ahead and trigger Article 16. Of course, the danger is for the government and all this. It comes across as weak. We end up with loads of negotiations that go absolutely nowhere, as happened under Lord Frost with the EU, then Liz Truss. But yeah, keen to hear what you make of Steve Baker's apology there, guys. Do let me know in the comments below. And of course, as ever, cheers for watching.